Hello so guys, today I want to talk about if you get a black screen like this on your OBS studios and how you can fix that black screen if your display capture doesn't work for example. So I'm going to go through some a lot of settings actually and a lot of fixes what you can do. So first off guys, what I suggest you to do is you want to close this one off and now you want to go ahead and right click and go to display settings. Once you go to display settings. You want to go over to graphic settings over here and now you want to go ahead let me delete this really quickly so i can show you guys how i do it you want to go to desktop app and on desktop app you just want to uh, keep it on here but if you have something else for example let's just say that you have something like your uh, classical if it says classical over here you want to also select that so this is for the people that also have something else you just want to go ahead and select on classical if you have that option and go to browse and now once you're in here you are basically gonna be on like quick access or something like that what you want to do is you want to go over to your windows most likely it's gonna be here on data or windows but once you're in here you want to go to program files but if it's not on your program files guys you want to go to program files as uh, 86 or something like that so we want to find our OBS studio now once we are in here like you see I have my OBS studio over here and like I said guys if you cannot find it on here you can just go to the other program files and look on there so let me open it up I want to go ahead and go to bin double click and go to 64 bits or if you have 32 just click on 32 bits once you're in here go to OBS 64 or OBS 32 and I want to click on add Once you click on that you are basically done in here and now you want to go to options on options You want to go to power saving and you want to click on save So once you do that guys what you want to do is you want to try to restart your OBS studio and see if your display capture actually works out Just open it up like this and now you just want to see if it works out so what you can do is you can just remove this and go to like add source and go back to display capture or try something else if you have for example a Elgato game capture go to like video capture device maybe or go to something else and see if those work out for you but let's just say that it still doesn't work out for you I'm gonna show some other things which you can maybe try so it does now let's just go ahead and go back to here so what you can try out is go back to options and select on high performance modes and see if that it's actually it's gonna work out for you so let's just go ahead and go back i'm gonna close this off let's go back to obs studio launch it and on here let's go to our settings on settings let's go over to I think it was general I have to look for this so I think it yeah it was encounter settings so it was on output you want to go to advanced settings over here and once you go to advanced you will get a lot more options like you see over here you have a lot more things which you can do so what you want to do is really simply go to streaming and go to encounter and you want to get this on your NVIDIA or something like that if you have something else just select on that and then click on apply and restart your OBS studios so just by selecting on this and testing it out it could work out for you you can also do that maybe on here so you can go to like your recording and a lot more stuff and you can see if it works out for you or not so that's how you can fix maybe your black screen on display capture so let's just say that you're done on here and it still doesn't work out you still have a black screen what I would suggest you guys to do is let's just go ahead and close this one off right now so what you want to do is go to your drivers so let's go ahead and do that what you want to do is go to your search bar and on there you just want to search up display uh, manager like I think it was called display manager I'm not sure let's type it in it was device manager uh, device manager guys I'm sorry so once you click on device manager 
for some type of reason it sometimes changes from here like you see guys it shows me like a white screen and it just changes to my other display but that's a bit glitchy for some type of reason but once you open device manager up you want to go ahead and go to your display adapters over here double click and go to here and on yours it could say something else it just depends on the graphic uh, graphics cards that you have you want to just double click let's do that and on here you can see this device is working properly but if you get something like an update you can go to like driver and update your driver go to search automatically for drivers and click on here so it could happen that your driver isn't updated and it is really important for the people that use OBS studios as Streamlabs OBS that your drivers are pretty much okay because it actually uses most likely of your drivers that's really important so search up if you have some updates that you can actually update and stuff like that so let's just go ahead and close this one off now you can just try to launch your OBS Studios back again. And also guys, what you also can maybe try is you can right click and go to run as administrator and see if that maybe is going to work out for you and some other settings maybe. And now what I will suggest you guys to do, if it still doesn't work out, let's just go ahead and make this a bit bigger because I'm going to show you actually the settings on OBS Studios. So let's just say that it still doesn't work out. Maybe your main problem is with your OBS Studio settings. So what do I mean with that? It could happen that you have some settings that are like uh, not that good or maybe you just messed up your settings accidentally it could all happen guys it actually happened to me a lot and what you want to do simply is reset your settings and how do you do that first off you are gonna um, get our scenes collection so we want to go to scene collection and we want to export it so we don't lose our scenes that are on here save it up as something that you want on your quick access or something like that and now that just closed off because i don't want to save it go to scene collection and on here once you go to import and go to add you can actually go ahead and add your scenes back you can also add maybe from your stream labs if you have that but to reset your settings you want to go to file and go to show settings folder once you click on here you want to select all of them so just select all of them and right click and go to delete like I said guys, if there is something on here that you don't want to lose, really simply just open it up and drag this into your desktop over here so you don't actually lose it on your uh, OBS Studio. So once you reset it with your settings and stuff like that, and stuff like that, just go ahead and right, like stack them all really simply. Let's do that. And just go to delete and once you do that guys you want to restart your OBS studios and if there's like some type of reason that you cannot delete them it actually could happen if you try to delete them and it doesn't work what you want to do for that is really simple you want to first off close your OBS studios so you want to close it but you have to have your files over here like I said guys and you want to then just try to delete them by selecting all of them and now restart your OBS studios and it should be uh, resetted so you should be on resetted things and what you can do now is you can go to your scene collection go to imports and get your scenes back on here or maybe get your scenes from streamlabs OBS and stuff like that so really easy guys that's how the, that's what I actually want to show you and this is how you can maybe fix your black screen maybe there's something wrong on your settings like maybe there's something wrong on your drivers it could all happen guys there's a lot of reasons why it could actually happen now i just want to talk about if you still have a lot of problems and if you tried anything in this video and it still doesn't work out most likely guys you want to check out how old is your computer like is it like really old or maybe um, your drivers are way too old you can check that out in the website like you can search up does my uh, driver support it or something like that you can go to like your device manager back again and on there you can actually see 
what type of thing that you have like go to here and go to let, let me show it on here so you want to go to your disk i mean display adapters double click and on here you can see uh, what type of driver that you have like graphics card and stuff like that so if it's way too old guys maybe that's reason or you can also check out your intel core and stuff like that like what type that you have and i sometimes pause the video because just because i have to cough that's quite annoying to being sick but yeah that's basically the video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you fixed it uh, quite good you can subscribe and like the video also leave that in the comments down below guys if it fixed your uh, problem you can just leave that in the comments down below and if it didn't fix out yeah also leave that in the comments down below maybe there's something specific going on like an error that you get while adding that so you can just leave that in the comments down below i'm pretty curious about the people that actually worked out and for the people also that it didn't work out you can also follow me at twitter and instagram i'll leave a link in the description down below and yeah also for my discord server so you can also check that out on the in the description so take care guys and i hope you enjoyed it goodbye